us to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So this is basically the sixth episode in this series where we are looking at the November 2022 Mathematics Paper 1. So let us move straight to question 11. In the following diagram, points A and B lie on latitude 60 degrees south, while point C is on latitude 30 degrees north. The local time at A is 10 hours when it is 13 hours at B. Find the difference in longitudes between A and B. That's a question A. So the question requires us to find the difference in longitudes. So what are longitudes? So it's these lines. These are the longitudes. So basically, ideally, what you are saying is if this is the equator, we need to find the difference in this angle. So it's this angle we are looking for, which is the same as if you extend here this angle, they will be the same. The angle extending this arc is the angle we are looking for. So how can we find that angle? So we are going to find these angles using uh, basically the time difference. That's what we use to find the, this angle. So we know that uh, basically this is the complete circle which is in the equator. So the equator is the same as in basically that of the longitudes. So the earth takes uh, basically 24 hours to rotate complete which is the 360 degrees then 24 hours. So what this tells me is if I simplify this one I'm going to end up with him uh, basically if I say uh, 12 into 24 is a 2 12 into 36 is basically 3 2 into 30 is basically 15 so every 15 degrees is equivalent to one hour okay so for 15 degrees is equivalent to one hour in time difference that's what you need to know just in case you forget so just divide 360 degrees divide by 24 hours so the earth takes 24 hours to rotate from this point one complete circle like this that's 24 hours and this complete circle is 360 degrees so now what this tells us is basically for every one hour this is equivalent to 15 degrees difference that's what it implies now based on this then uh, what we get is what's the time difference between town a and town b it's 13 hours minus 10 hours which is three hours so three hours is equal to how many degrees in difference between two longitudes so we just cross multiply so what we have in this case is x times one hour is one hour then x because one times x is x so equals to basically three hours times 15 we have 15 times uh, 15 degrees times 3 hours then the hour and the hour cancels then we have x is equal to what 15 degrees times 3 which is 45 degrees so 45 degrees is in the difference in longitudes between a and b so this is how you answer this question then uh, we look at question b a plane flew from B to C at a speed of 600 knots. How long did the plane take? That's the question. How long did the plane take? So, to make it uh, clear for you to follow, let me just uh, clean up the diagram so that it's much more clearer for you to see. So, the plane is moving from basically B to C. So, it's moving from this point to C. So, it's along the uh, great circle which is the longitudes so the question is how long did it take to move from b to c so we know that our uh, speed is given by distance over time what have we been given we've been given speed in knots which is in nautical 
miles per hour. So we know what speed is. So S is given to us. Then have we been given time? So the question is asking to find how long did the plane take. So the question is asking us to find the time. Then can we find distance? Yes, we can find distance because we've been given the, these latitudes. So once we know the angle, this angle, we can find the circumference of this a sector. So this just this distance from here, we can find it. So how can we find this angle? We know that uh, this is the equator. So if this is from here to here, this is 30 degrees, then this is 60 degrees. Then to find the difference here, we just add in uh, basically 30 plus 60 degrees, which is this one plus that one. So we end up with 90 degrees. So we know 90 degrees is the this angle which is substanding this sector. That's basically the difference. So once we know that, we can easily find the distance in nautical miles. Remember what is key is if the latitude are on the same hemisphere, if they are all in the northern hemisphere, to find the angle sub subtending the arc, okay, the arc, this distance, you subtract the smaller from the biggest. If they are all in the southern hemisphere, you still do the same, the smaller you subtract it from the largest. If they are in different hemisphere, you just add to find that angle. Once you find that angle, it's easier. So to find the distance between B and C, what you do is, because distance, the speed is not commas, you find distance in not commas. So distance in not commas is just equal to this theta, which is this angle found here, the, this angle subtending point C and B, multiplied by basically 60 then that's what we get. So it will be basically 90 multiplied by 60. You end up with basically uh, 5,400 nautical miles. So as long as it's not come out, just multiply this difference, this angle that you find, you multiply by 60. So for every one degree, difference is equivalent to 60 nautical miles difference. So once we find that, then we know what D is, we can find the time. How do we find time? We just now make it the subject of formula. So I'm going to use this space here. So we cross multiply. So this one comes here, then this one. So basically T is equal to, let me use a different color, is equal to basically distance divided by uh, speed. So what is distance? Distance we found it to be basically uh, 5,400 nautical miles. So to make it easier, I'm not going to write as a multiplication of these two. Then divide one. What is the speed? The speed is this one, which is 600 nautical miles per hour as in speed. Then at this point, is much more easier for me. Then I'll just zero, 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 then a six, six. So then I'm going to end up with 9 hours as the time. So 9 hours is the time it will take for the plane to move from B to C. So basically this is how you answer this question. Thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, video. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing to our channel because we've got so much content for you. So once you subscribe and go to our YouTube channel, you'll discover that we've got extensive exam revision where we've covered questions in mathematics, physics, and chemistry. Then we are also adding more subjects. We've got also another section which is topic-based exam question revisions. This is the best section for you if you are facing any challenges in any specific topic. Remember, for you to master anything, you need to know how questions are asked. And we give you tips and tricks by giving you extensive explanation to each and every question.